At the end of this video, you should be able to identify the kinds of four-legged animals being raised as means of livelihood, understand the possible hazards caused by animal raising to the people and community, identify the ways to prevent possible hazards brought about by raising animals, identify animals to be raised as an alternative source of income for the family, discuss how to feed these animals, Prepare a list of needed materials to start the project. Meat from animals is a good source of protein. Thus, most families, particularly in the rural areas, raise animals for food. It is because animal raising does not only supply the family with food rich in protein that the body needs, but it adds greatly to the income of the family. Animal raising is one of the sources of livelihood of many Filipino families today. This can be done in one's backyard. Hog and fish raising are some of the best examples for this. With enough knowledge and skill, it can be one of the most successful and profitable business today. Here are the kinds of four-legged animals to be raised as means of livelihood. Hog or swine raising. This is one of the industry that can be done in a backyard or vacant lot as long as the person involved has knowledge, skills, and hard work. Pork is one of the popular meats in the market. Success in swine racing begins with the proper selection of breeds. There are two types of variety or breed to select from. The native variety commonly found in rural areas. This variety feeds on palai and meal leftovers of the family. They feed on grounds as they simply loiter in the backyard. The imported varieties are Yorkshire or Large White, Land Race, Durok Jersey, Hampshire, Berkshire, and Poland China. Goat Racing Goats are very popular among Filipinos because they require low capital investment, fit the small hold farm condition, and multiply fast. Goats require low maintenance because they eat tree leaves, weeds, grasses, and agricultural byproducts. They are not only a source of protein, but they also provide the much-needed income. Cattle or Cow Raising Cattle fattening has gained importance as business project of livestock industry in the Philippines. It gives farmers year-round work and provides them with extra income. Feed is a key to profitable cattle raising. Cattle need food nutrients for maintenance, growth, and production. Animal raisers must formulate feeds based on their animals' sex, weight gain desired, and the moisture content of valuable roughage and feeds. Carabao Racing The carabao, or swamp-type buffalo, is a prized symbol for farmers' wealth, is an integral component of Philippine agriculture. The carabao provides animal protein in the food of meat and milk, as well as hides and horns, and manure, a potential organic fertilizer for the farm. Horse Racing Horse is a highly intelligent and emotional animal that will change your life. Interacting with horses is one of the most stress-relieving activities. However, you must be fully prepared and consider the financial issue along, along with the commitment needed if you decide to raise horses at your property. Here are the possible hazards that animal raising can cause to the people and community. Hazards are any source of potential damage, harm, or adverse health effects on something or someone under certain conditions at work. Some of these hazards include Pollution Not properly disposed animal waste and let exposed in the backyard or left uncovered for drying can produce unpleasant smell to the surroundings and community causing air pollution. Infection and diseases. Flies and insects carry disease causing bacteria that settle on food which can lead to sickness like diarrhea, food poisoning, skin infections, and other diseases. Fly and insect infestations. Flies and insect infestations should be controlled so that they cannot multiply fat. It can spread out to the community causing disturbance, stress, and diseases. Here are the ways to prevent hazards brought about by raising animals. Put up septic tanks for the proper disposal of animal waste. Establish the housing of animals away from houses and the neighborhood. 
have enough fences or walls and tries to minimize air pollution caused by decayed animal wastes. Clean and regularly disinfect the houses of animals. Bathe animal regularly. Have adequate space for animals to move about for exercise and promote good health. Quarantine new hogs for 30 days before having them joined with other hogs to ensure the safety and health of the regular hogs as well as the new ones. Inquire the animal technician or veterinary always. Burn animals immediately which died due to disease to avoid the spread of diseases and bacteria. Maintain health and sanitation program for animals to ensure their health and safety. What is direct to consumers and retailer? Direct to consumer is a term when products are sold directly to their end consumers or user without third party retailers, wholesalers, or other middlemen. Retailer is a person that sells goods to the public in relatively small quantities for use. Here are the benefits that can be derived from animal raising. It is a source of livelihood or source of income for many families. It instills the spirit of entrepreneurship, hard work, and industry to individuals who are in the business. It can be a good hobby for those who are interested in animal and fish raising. It contributes to the economy of the family and the community. It encourages other members of the family to participate and help the family business, value of cooperation, love for the family, and the drive to improve the business. In planning for the family's animal and fish raising project, particularly in livestock raising and fish farming, you need to consider not only the animals to be raised, but also their dwellings, food, water supply, community, and many other things. Here are some suggestions to make the right decisions. Attend seminars sponsored by government agencies. Read journals or magazines on livestock raising. Interview persons authority or experts in animal raising. Have enough capital or budget. Decide on what animal to raise. Determine the proper location or space for the chosen animal. The source of food supply for the animals to be raised. Water system of the place where the project is located. And manpower needed in the implementation of the project. Here are the animals to be raised as an alternative source of income for the family. Swine or hog raising. Hog meat is one of the popular meats in the market. Filipinos are heavy consumers of this protein-rich food. It requires good selection of breeds. These are the major types to be considered. Native variety. It is commonly found in rural areas. Yorkshire or large white. This breed is commonly raised in Canada. It has large ears with white and black spots. This breed is a good source of meat for making bacon. Land race. This breed comes from Denmark. It has white hair and skin. Its ears are larger in size and covers much of its face. Its meat is best for bacon, ham, and pork chop. The Rock. This breed comes from New Jersey. It has a dark red and golden yellow color. It is also a good producer of milk and has a good mothering ability. Hampshire. The pig looks smaller than other breeds. The ears are red, tail is usually black, and legs are short. Hypor. This breed has well-muscled back, well-developed ham, and its high carcass quality. It has superior milking qualities. Poland, China. This breed is black color with white spots on its feet, tail, and face. It has thick meat. Tamworth. This has a long narrow head, long snout, and erect ears. The body is light and dark red in color. Its meat is best for making bacon. These are the steps on how to feed swine or hog. Feeding of swine re requires different feed type in a specified age level regularly done two or three times per day as follows. Starter mush. This type of feeds is given to piglets aging from 2 to 8 weeks old. Growing mash, a feed type that is given to piglets with age level of 2 to 6 months old. Flattening mash, this feed is given to 10-month-old pigs until they were ready for slaughtering. Alternative food like kamote tops, kangkong, papaya leaves may also be given to swine from time to time. Here are the needed materials or requirements for swine or hog raising. 
pig pen. These must have adequate space for the pig to move freely. There must be a trough for feeds and water. Flooring is slightly sloping to the draining area to prevent urine and manure from accumulating and a pit provided for dumping of hog waste. Piglet. This must be carefully selected. Check skin, legs, feet, and nails as well as breed and size. Also choose those have been vaccinated. Food. There are many kinds of food containing various ingredients and nutrients. Avoid giving spoiled food for this can cause diseases which can be transmitted to human. Care. One must ensure that the pigs do not contact any diseases. Proper care includes clean pig pen, bathing them every day, consulting veterinarian if necessary. Here are the schedule of work in swine raising project. Feeding of pigs is done regularly two to three times a day. Clean drinking water is provided daily. Clean the pens daily. It is best to sanitize and disinfect equipment on a regular basis. Keep health record of the swine and have immunization schedule. Always seek the advice or services of the nearest veterinarian. Goat Raising Goats are easier to raise because it simply lives on grass and leaves of plants. Here the goat breeds for meat and dairy purpose. Nubian Distinguishing features of this breed are dropping. It has pendulous ears and a Roman nose. This is a tropical breed successfully adopted and raised in Western countries. Juma Pari and is very well suited for tropical climate countries. Here are goat breeds for dairy production. Saanen breed mainly for high milk production, hornless breed, and first developed in the region of Saanen in Switzerland. Alpine Color ranges from off-white to red and black. This breed originated in the French Alps. Tuggenberg. Distinguishing features are white markings on the face, legs, and tail. This breed originated in Switzerland. How to feed goats? Goats are known to relish paragrass, star grass, napier grass, and centrosema among grasses legumes. It requires nutrients like protein, carbohydrates, fats, minerals, vitamins, and water. Feed them with cut grass and salt. Salt makes the goat keep a steady appetite, making them grow faster and produce more milk. Housing for goat. A good housing for goat is very essential as they are prone to pneumonia when regularly exposed to rain. A goat house must be ventilated, clean and dry. A fenced loafing area be provided with feeding racks and water troughs. Fish farming. Fish farming as a means of livelihood is like animal farming in many ways. Fish meat, like animal meat, is rich and is a healthier alternative. Here are the fish commonly raised in fish farming. Tilapia Tilapia grows quite rapidly. It can reproduce all year round and requires no special kinds of feeds. Tilapia can be harvested after 3 to 4 months of feeding. Milkfish The national fish of the Philippines Milkfish or bangus is a very popular for its milky taste. It requires no special kind of feed for its diet. Milkfish can be harvested after 7 to 10 months of feeding. Carp Carp are hardly fish. They adapt to poorly oxygenated, slow-moving, shallow bodies of water. They do not reproduce quickly as tilapia. During harvest time, the farmer is guaranteed large size fish. Catfish this fish has become a staple food for many Filipino in the Tagalog region. Catfish can be harvested between 4 to 6 months of feeding. Here are the materials and other requirements for fish farming. Ways of raising fish Fish raising success is highly affected by the kind of enclosure the farm is using. Here are the common types of fish enclosures used today. Dugout or excavated enclosures. This type of fish pen is an inland fish pen. A large land area is excavated to create a pool of water where fish can be grown. Concrete or plastic enclosures. These plastic fish tanks are usually used for commercial fingerling production and research development. Fish cages. Enclosures made of nets and stakes placed in large bodies of water like the sea, 
lakes, and rivers to contain and protect fish until they can be harvested.